Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I have got a Bloomborough Magic the Gathering bundle uh, to open in today's video. It has all sorts of fancy things inside like lands, a spin down life counter, it's got nine boosters, play boosters, an alt art and a card box inside. It looks really fancy from the outside. I really like the artwork on this. This is a really fancy... I'm always a little bit annoyed to have to open these because I really want to keep them kind of sealed because they always look so so nice in their kind of sealed form. I have already opened the booster box that I got of Bloomborough, but the video was horrifically long and if I try and put the video file into my PC to edit it right now, it's going to probably explode. So I'm trying to figure out how to sort out the video file that's on there to try and get a decent video. Long story short, spoiler alert, we pulled one of these which is the Three Tree City which I think is the chase card for the set so fingers crossed we might be able to find some more fancy cards in this bundle so let's crack in we have this fancy looking piece of artwork which is nice it re this set reminds me so much of like wind in the willows but we're fighting it's crazy but here we go this is a little toad and, a, and an otter presumably sailing down the river and on the other side, oh, here we go. See what all the fuzz is about. Visitors to the valley take the form of charming woodland creatures. Open Bloomborough collector boosters. See, they're advertising collector boosters in things that don't have collector boosters. I'm not sure how I feel about collector boosters. So here we go. This is the fancy card box that you get. So it's a lot like the ETBs that you get for Pokemon, but slightly different. It has like a kind of angled top to it. it does look really nice. I love the 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 title, the logo on the top, that's really cool. And it's got the same as the bundle on the front and around the side, carries on the artwork and then just has like an extended bit on the back with like a nice swimming otter, that's pretty cool. So let's crack in and see what we get in here. Inside, lots of, <laughs> lots of um, wasted space, should we say? Uh, I mean, I get it, you want the box size so you can keep your cards in there, but still, that's a lot of space to be wasted. So here we go, so this is the spin down life counter, so when you're playing Magic the Gathering, you can keep track of how much life you have. They normally follow all the way down from 20, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and oh, even the 1 has its own little artwork this time. It's a little paw print. So your 20 has the set symbol, and number 1 has a little paw print. That's really cool. I haven't seen that on any spin down accounts before. Maybe I'm, I'm out of date. I haven't actually had a bundle from the last couple of Magic sets, so it could be that that's changed and I just haven't ignored it. So there's nothing else in this side bit. Um, you do get these cool things as well. Um, so you get like some fancy pullout cards and some like some sort of status counters in the sides of this. Another pullout card there, some more plus one plus one counters which don't have anything on the back. Normally with a plus one plus one counter you'd like, you'd like to see like a minus one minus one on the back maybe so that you can use them for both but still. So I think this is one of the Planeswalker cards that you can get in the set. So that'll be interesting to see if we can find something like that in our packs. Here we have two, I think these are just like, these are just like rule cards so you can kind of see how things work with regards to attacking, blocking, how to play the game. Very useful. And then here we have, I guess this is our lands and, oh, it's our it's our lands and our promo cards. So this is like basically a promo. So it's a special version of Thunder Trap Trainer, an otter wizard with a cool hollow effect. And presumably inside here, if I can open it, we have our special land cards. So there's our fancy trainer. Oh, here we go. So. The, the lands, the way they've done the lands this time is they've got four versions of each one. So they have like a spring, summer, winter and autumn effect on the full art lands. So this is a, I don't know what this would be, like a summer, I guess. A summer, because all the flowers are out. So maybe spring, maybe summer of the plains. And then we've got a an island. I guess when you have all of them next to each other, you can probably tell which one's which. Uh, mountains. So this is a this is a forest. Okay, so you get one of each of it looks like you get one of each of the foils for the full arts, and then they give you some standards. These are also cool though. They've got like interesting scenery in. So these are also foil. 
and then okay and then at the end of the foils we've got so if this one is potentially summer then I'm guessing this one next to it must be autumn because the flowers are slightly dying off and it's starting to get into a different season or maybe this is autumn maybe that's spring summer autumn ah, okay yeah so spring summer and then this one's autumn and then this one's the winter one because it's got the snow and then the same thing for the islands and then the swamp summer autumn and winter mountain which presumably the mountains don't look that different so like the spring to the summer version is very very similar um obviously ones are foils it's a bit hard to tell so you've got your autumn and then winter and then forest you've got your summer autumn looks a little bit like a volcano is erupting that's like really extreme autumn and then your winter version for that as well so that's pretty cool i like the lands i like it when they put extra thought into the into the bits that you don't normally pay that much attention to like the you know the lands and stuff is is they're always in there but you never really really care that much but i like the fact that there's like a little set to collect on them so here we go so these are the booster packs so we get one two three four five six seven eight nine booster packs so let's see if we can pull anything crazy i have been reading around a little bit online that people aren't particularly happy with the value that you get out of the boosters for this set the cards are nice they look nice um but the value of like what you actually get in a pack now that they've changed it slightly so they've removed uh the, is it the special guest cards that they used to have which were basically reprints of old cards with a little symbol that used to come up on the bottom corner that basically was like a guest in that set they think they've got rid of them now so like it feels like the value you get out of a pack is slightly less but i like the card arts though so we'll go through and just see what we get so we've got sticky tongue sentinel which is a frog warrior sazacaps brew finch formation bird scout some of the artworks in this are really like vivid and colorful which is really cool crumb and get it glide dive duo uncharted haven another land moonrise cleric Sinister Monolith, Builder's Talent, Three Tree Scribe, a Frog Druid, that looks pretty cool, Parting Gust, okay so this is our first rare, Gev Scaled Scorch is our Lizard Mercenary Legendary Creature, nice looking cards, okay so this is our one of our forest full arts, so that's the, we know that that's the autumn one where the volcano apparently explodes, and we have our foil for the pack, Hawkbuster Swarm, Ooh, and an art card, I like it when they do the art card sets in these. I don't think you get an art card in every pack now, though. You sometimes get tokens and sometimes get little reference cards. Um, but these are pretty cool. There are 54 art cards to collect, so that should keep people going and collecting for a long time to come. Heaped Harvest. A Gate Assault. Water Spout Warden. Thistledown Players. Saver. Rabbit Response. Cindering Cutthroat, Patchwork Banner, Long River Lurker, Moonstone Harbinger, Hop to It, Dawn's Truce. Oh, that's a really cool looking card. Look at the owl, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got a mountain, which could be spring, could be summer. I think they look really similar. Mind Drill Assailant, a Rat Warlock. Oh, so the rats are like the evil kind of guys in this. And there we go, so a token snail. That's pretty, pretty funky looking token. We have, so I think this is the same as like the other types of boosters that you get for magic at the moment. Depending on how many commons and uncommons you have, kind of dictates how many rares and mythics you might have in the pack. So if you have like seven commons or like enough cards, like I think it's like nine cards or something like that in common and uncommon, then you know you're only going to get one decent card, like one rare or, or mythic. Star Charter, Poor Patch Formation. Okay, so another legendary creature, an Otter Wizard. Elania Divergent Storm. Nice looking card. And then we have our, oh, we have a foil version of the same. Is that the same one that we got non-foil? They do look very similar. I'm gonna say that's the same. So we got a foil version of our same one. Ooh, and a rare foil, Dark Star Augur, but Bat Warlock. It's quite difficult to make out that that's actually a bat, but it looks a very cool card. I like it's got like a kind of like skull thing going on in the middle and another token, a fish. You never know when you might need a fish. I'm guessing there must be cards that pump out token fish in this set, which sounds interesting. I like the way they've gone all in with the theming of this. 
I mean, there's no point in doing it half-heartedly. So how many was that? This is, let's count the commons and uncommons. So let's see, see how many you actually get. So that was two commons, three commons, four commons, five commons, six commons, seven commons, one uncommon, so eight, nine, ten, eleven. So okay, so it's eleven in a standard pack, it's eleven common and uncommon, and then you presumably in those packs only get one rare, and then you also have the possibility of getting a foil rare as well, obviously. Um, but one rare, one land, and then one foil card. So this is Coiling Rebirth. It's like a skeleton of a snake wrapped around a tree. That's pretty cool. And we got our... That's the Autumn, I think, Forest. And then we have our Foil, Kindle Spark Duo, Lizard, and an Otter together in the same card. And here we go. So another token, Tender Wild Guide. Okay, so let's see if we can get... Maybe we can get a couple of packs where we can get less than 11 common and uncommon cards. That would be... That would be nice. So take out the trash. Nightwall Hermit. Life Creed Duo. Psychic Wall. The artwork on this card is amazing. I really like it. Sticky Tongue Sentinel. Seed Pod Squire. Veteran Guard Mouse. Sugar Coat. That's like a little gingerbread rabbit or something. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, Feather of Flight, Starscape Cleric, Bright Blade Stoat, and here we go. So Iridescent Vine Lasher is our rare, which is a Lizard Assassin. We have a, is that an Autumn? It's got mushrooms out maybe, maybe Autumn Forest. Uh, we have Hoarder's Overflow for our foil for the pack. So we can get some shimmeriness going on there. And another art card, here we go. So this is a bat of some kind. I think it tells you what they are on the back. So this is a Star Charter. So presumably there's a card in the set called Star Charter, which has this artwork. They give you the little artwork card so you get a bigger version of the artworks, which I think is a really cool idea. Hoping that we can hit like one of the Planeswalkers or one of the fancy legendary creatures that come in the set. That would be really cool. Sazacap's Brew, Finch Formation. This is very similar to our first pack that we opened, I think. Crumb and Get It. Glide, Glide Dive Duo, Heaped Harvest, Agate Assault, High Stride, Gossip's Talent, Lily Splash Mentor, Playful Shove, Splash Lasher. Oh, here we go. Storm Splitter, Creature Otter Wizard, which is a mythic. And it's a borderless version. I really want to get some of the kind of borderless foil versions because I really like the borderless artworks. And when you get them in foil, they look amazing. Um, I'm slightly gutted that you kind of, there are some that you can only get in the collector boosters, but. This is still a very nice card, especially as a mythic. We have this is like Autumn Island. There's Autumn a lot in this in this um, bundle. <laughs> like a lot of the packs have had Autumn lands. So we've got Sona Strike, which is a pretty nice looking foil. It's only actually those circles on here that are actually in foil, I think. Maybe the light foiling around the outside, but it's mainly those circles, which is pretty cool. And just a reference card. So three packs left. Water Spout Warden, Thistledown Players, Saver, Sunshower Druid, Frilled Spark Shooter, Bark Form Harvester, Moonrise Cleric, Stocking the Pantry, Lilypad Village, Tangle Tumbler, Bone Cash Overseer, Byway Barterer is our rare, which is a Raccoon Rogue. Nice to see raccoons have a feature. Uh, we have probably another Forest of Autumn. Apparently Autumn is our, our theme. Pond's Prophet, that's a nice looking foil. I like it when there's like extra like foiling on the, on the part of the card which actually makes it pop really, really well. So there's got another fish token as well. So two packs left. Can we get anything crazy like a foil, borderless, anything? Foil, borderless, three tree city would be the best. Thought Shucker, Banishing Light, Bonebind Orator, Barker's Bane Duo, Steam Path Charger, Sky Skipper Duo, Ravine Raider, Tempest Angler, Into the Floodmoor, Persistent Marsh Stalker, Blooming Blast, uh, Dream Dew Entrancer, which is a Frog Wizard, is our rare. Is that, that is another, that's got to be autumn, right? Maybe spring. Things are kind of just starting to grow, so maybe that's a spring one. Maybe we've broken from tradition. Uh, Early Winter is our foil. And we've got another art card, which is Eluge the Shoreless Sea, which is 6 of 54. So that's a nice looking art card. So here we go, last pack. It's time for some last pack magic. 
see if we can get some, literally last pack of magic, see if we can get a crazy pull in our last pack. Brave Kin Duo, which is a rabbit mouse combo. Starlet Soothsayer, Sticky Tongue Sentinel, Kindle Spark Duo, Run Away Together, War Squeak, Pond's Prophet, Valley Rally, Sinister Monolith, Bright Blade Stoat, and okay, so Dawn's Truce again is our rare for this one. I'm pretty sure that we had that in one of the earlier packs. Oh, and we've got a double rare Camellia the Seed Miser as a legendary creature squirrel warlock in this one. And a island. Not sure what season that is. Possibly spring again. Everything's growing. Ah, oh, okay. I thought we might have got like a crazy hit on the last one, but no. Tangle Tumbler. Artifact Vehicle is the foil. And then our last art card, which is Liliana of the Dark Realms in rabbit form, which is a really cool looking card, actually. Nice. So there you go, guys. That's everything opened. Um, some decent hits. Um, I'm probably most pleased with this one. This one is a nice looking borderless card. I like the kind of colors really like set each other off, which is pretty cool. If I do Magic the Gathering booster boxes in future, what I might do is get a couple and do a live stream opening rather than doing it in video form because editing it up afterwards is crazy. So see if anyone wants to come along and watch the packs we opened live and then afterwards the video will just go onto the channel anyway. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe for our future videos. And I'll see you here next time for another unboxing. Thanks guys, catch you later.